the dream of every brand is take my textile waste, also the textile waste I cannot sell in the stores, and make new products out of it again. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Sustainability Talks with NNN. Ciao from Nicolo. Ciao from Nicolo from Amsterdam. Ciao from Susanna in Switzerland. A quick introduction about Susanna. Susanna is working uh, her entire life in the fashion and textile business. She worked from the creation to retail, from the material to garment, and she worked within Europe, US, and Asia. So she really knows. Uh, what does it mean fashion? Sustainability has been always a priority, but lately she's focusing on circularity and recycle to change the way we produce and market and consume fashion. She is one that is really inside the fashion, but not only, also the really critical detail of the recycling work. Let's start with our first one question. We have our mantra. What is sustainability for you? In sustainability, you hear a lot of words like uh, green, ecological, uh, responsibly made, but the use of such words is in effect not regulated. So there is no legal uh, definition of sustainability. Like, for example, you have the legal definition, what is organic? That's why everybody has a different opinion. So for me, sustainability is a system that is designed to maintain a balanced state. So as much as you take out, you have to give back. So it's always balanced. And you said about definition, Susan, and it's true there's no definition for sustainability. What about regenerative? Is there a definition or, or, or a certification for regenerative or a similar to sustainability? There is a certification, actually. Regenerative is when you get out more than you put in. For example, when you look in textiles, if you grow cotton somewhere, then you don't grow cotton only in an organic, sustainable way, but you grow cotton, then your soil is healthy, the farmer has good income, and the environment profits. So it's always more than only get the same out what you put in. What, what creates less impact for you between uh, good quality virgin material or recycle? What is the balance that you, you're looking for? Good quality virgin materials you can use normally very long. So you love the garment for a long time. But when you look at the impact in the world, then when you take recycled fabric, it is always less harm to the planet than virgin materials because you don't take out or you take out less material than when you use virgin material. When we look at the example for uh, polyester, then you take out 90% less water, 60% less energy, and you reduce 30% the greenhouse gas effect. Only 1% of clothes are recycled into clothes again. I want to jump the different type of recycling that exists. Let's say we can have a mechanical type of recycling or a chemical type of recycling. Can you tell us a little bit more the difference between the two ways? Mechanical recycling cleans and chops and sometimes melts fibers into reusable fibers again. And it was invented in the 80s because the world was about to have not enough space for landfill anymore. So I illustrate with uh, examples what kind of recycling in a mechanical way we have today. From cotton, we can make recycled cotton. For example, IKEA, the cooperation with mud jeans, with two pairs of jeans that are lay lying around in your wardrobe and you don't wear it anymore. You can buy a kippan sofa with a cover that is made out 
of mud jeans containing 40% recycled jeans, 60% organic cotton. They did recycle the jeans fabrics that they got back into a new fabric and then making the look like back pockets on the sofa. But it's not a jeans, it's a new cover that is designed like this. And then there is another recycling. Prato is recycling yeah. a lot of fabrics or old garments that are coming from the donation. They rip it apart, for example, wool. They sort it in colors and then they sell it again to make a new wool thread for new garments. So this results in half the CO2 emissions and it's a cheaper way to make new fabrics. And they do around 150,000 tons a year. So it's a huge business. It's the most used recycling, that is the polyester. Yeah, I'm sure tell everybody us. has a pair or a, a t-shirt with content of recycled poly polyester in their wardrobe. And this polyester is not coming from garments. So it's in sure. a narrow sense. It's not a circular recycled product it's coming from PET bottles you can recycle only the clear PET bottles and what about the chemical recycling uh, Suzanne so the chemical recycling breaks down the material to the molecule level and you can rebuild new materials and what is a, an example today so the input is cotton and that becomes viscose the company called renew cell produces from old jeans and other cotton fabrics viscose and they are doing this in Sweden and with a partner in China. H&M is already selling garments with their product called Circulos. And when you say chemical recycle, is it in a, some way also uh, impactful for the environment? So it's using temperature and pressure to restructure the long polymers into smaller pieces and then rebuild it together. So ah. there is not an addition necessarily of other chemicals. Yeah. For example, there is also an input of cellulose waste that becomes a new fiber, something like cotton. And this is the Finnish Infinited Fiber Company. So as you remember, the mechanical polyester recycling, there you can use... PET bottles only. You cannot use garments. And the big dream is to recycle garments to garments. Yes. So garments, they do not have only polyester in there. They have a lot of dye stuffs or perhaps a little bit spandex in there. And this is then in virgin quality. The wow. quality when you do chemical recycling is not decreasing. It's remaining the virgin quality. So you can recycle products chemically an infinite number of time but if you have uh, uh, let's say dyed material how do you do you still have to bleach it right you can take out the dye stuff in this chemical process how do we close the loop in fashion the dream of every brand is take my textile waste also the textile waste i cannot sell in the stores and make new products out of it again using only my molecules to make new products. And th this exclusive loop is very dangerous because when you want to work with only one brand's textile waste, then you have to have a lot of different loops. And this makes scaling up very difficult. The cost increases huge. So I always plead for an inclusive loop. So you take the waste of different brands and different materials. The difficulty is the collecting system because if you are mm -hmm. a brand and you take back only your clothes uh, or your shoes, uh, until you get enough clothes to restart the production and remake a new fabric, it 
would take you a few years maybe. But uh, there is not a government or, or a big scale collecting uh, system that can process the, the, the clothes and the material. How do you, do you see uh, this in the future? The infrastructure where the consumer has conveniently access to the recycling bins is crucial to recycling. Recycling does not take place. So it's important that the, the used garments get into a recycling stream. But as you know, even in Europe, it's difficult. However, we have a very good setup. A lot of the garments, ec exactly 73% of garments are destined for landfill overall or burned. In Europe, it's certainly less. But when you want to have an effective recycling stream, you have to work with the government and you have to work with the waste management of the government. You have to fish out garments from the waste before it lands on landfill or in incineration. And this is what big companies are now proceeding with and discussing with governments that we find new ways how we can take out garments into a recycling stream. If the recycling is made by not convenient for the consumer, we have no chance to recycle. We should go for big scale quantities to recycle. How do you see the industry shaping up and the consumer behavior shaping up? So the consumer today has a really needs and mind change. We have to create awareness that textiles are not only a commodity, that you wear a short time and then you throw away, but it should be destined for recycling or it should be destined for giving to another person. And with this awareness shift, we already have a big impact on the environment. When you keep a garment nine months longer, you already reduce the impact by 30%. And this is another question. Why don't we discuss durability in fashion. It's a kind of the opposite of fashion. For fashion is always new, but it should be durable. You know, grandma clothes last forever. So we should in the end also come over our aversion to wear other people, people's clothes. That's a good point of view, right, Nicolo? And uh, we really appreciate your insight. No, I love it. Ciao, Susanna. It was great to meet you. Thank you very much for having me. And it was great to talk to you. Thank Ciao. You. Bye.